Welcome one more time to the class of students. I'm really, really happy to see you here as always. Today, I'm going to show you now your classroom presentation tool in order to start with our lesson. Okay, that's it. Well, this is your classroom presentation tool. Let's go to, oh yeah, your second word. This is the, oh, a moment. And that's it. Now we were working or we were learning uh, about the topics of the unit number 12, I guess. Which is first grade, yeah, and your second grade, no? That's it. Now we're in the unit number 12, so you're working on the page number 122. Uh, so all of these topics, right? The previous class we were talking about planning a party, right? And now it's time to work on something else. We have to work or we need to work on this topic, on the topic called birthdays. So let's do, let's start with this. And let's work. What do we have here? Lesson D, birthdays. Activity 1, reading. And here we have a question. Here it says, no? Uh, what was the last party you went to? What did you do at the party? What was the last party that you do? Maybe before the, the COVID-19, I guess, right? Uh, when was coming to make some parties to celebrate, uh, I don't know, maybe to celebrate some of, uh, maybe some of the, um, of some of the birthdays of the friends, no? Yeah, I remember my friend, Mr. Party. He used to make some uh, some parties at home, no? And, and we usually celebrate the birthdays there, right? Okay, well, what did you do at a party? I think maybe you danced, maybe uh, you ate, right? That's correct. Now, I'm going to do something else. This is the letter B. Okay, read the article with par, uh, which birthdays are special in each country. Let's see. How do people celebrate? How do people celebrate the birthdays? Okay. I'm going to activate this option. Moment. Um, yeah, you're going to listen and you're going to read this article. Yes, I'll pay attention. I'm going to pop it back in track music and that's it. Lesson D. Birthdays. Page 122. Exercise 1. Reading. Birthday traditions around the world. Nigeria. In Nigeria, the first, fifth, tenth, and 15th birthdays are very special. To celebrate these birthdays, people have big parties and invite up to 100 people. They eat jollof rice. This is rice with tomatoes, red peppers, onions, and cassava, a kind of potato. Japan. The third, fifth, and seventh birthdays are very important in Japan. Every year on November 15th, three-year-old boys and girls, five-year-old boys, and seven-year-old girls celebrate the Shichigosan 753 festival. They usually wear traditional clothes and eat thousand-year candy for a long life. Ecuador. In Ecuador, a family has a big party when a girl turns 15 years old. The birthday girl wears a dress, and her father puts her first pair of high-heeled shoes on her. Then he dances with her. Fourteen other girls dance with fourteen other boys at the same time. South Korea. 
Parents in South Korea sometimes try to guess a child's future on his or her first birthday. They put the child in front of some objects, such as a book and a coin. They wait to see which object the child takes. For example, a book means the child is going to be a teacher. A coin means the child is going to have a lot of money. Okay. Now you have some important information, right? About how people celebrate birthdays around the world. Uh, here, for example, it says, no, uh, which birthdays are special in each country? Uh, uh, here you have definitely, no? Uh, some birthdays. Uh, every, every people, for example, in Nigeria, the people in Nigeria, for example, they talk about the first, fifth, thing and fifteen birthday, right? In Japan, the third, uh, fifth, uh, seven, and seven birthdays are important, no? In Ecuador, it's similar to Peru, I guess, no? The fifteen years old, they make a, a, a big part. In South Korea, no? Uh, well, I think in South Korea, they don't talk about a special birthday, right? They talk about uh, the boys future, yeah. So I'm gonna close this. Let's go to this part. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. This is the activity. Let us see what it says here. Here it says no. Uh, activity C, read the article again, answer the question. On a special birthday, what do Nigerian children eat? What do you eat? You're going to be off the microphone. Tell me please. Oh, well, they eat a uh, jello of rice, right? Um, what about who celebrates Shichi Gosan? Hmm? What do you think? Who celebrates Shichi Gosan? Hmm? Yeah. You know, well, I'm going to give you the clue here. It says on this part, no? Sichi uh, Go San 753. Who celebrates this? Japanese people, no? Celebrate Sichi uh, Go San, Japanese. Yeah. Let's go. Next part. What says here? Mm -hmm. Who dances with 15 years old Ecuadorian girl at her birthday party? Hmm? Who? Who dances? What do you think? Hmm? In this part, look. Her father puts her her first pair of high school shoes on her. Then he dances with her, right? No, then here says 14 other girls done with 14 other boys at the same time. No, who dances hmm? with a 15 year old Ecuadorian girl at her birthday party? Hmm? The father, right? The father. Okay. Father, no? or her father, we can write here. No, now let's see the other part. The, the question number four Who do South Korean parents guess a child's future? What do they do? You know. What do you think? 
how to Korean parents face a child's future? Here you have the answer, students. You must be uh, you must be aware about this, no? Here we're talking about uh, South Korean. How do they guess a future, right? Here it says, no, to guess child's future on his or first birthday, what do they do? They put the child, they put the child in front of some object, such book, such a book, and a phone. No? Then they wait to see, you know, which object the, the child takes. How do South Korean parents guess uh, a child's future? Hmm? They put the child in front of, in front of uh, some objects, no? Some objects such as a book and a coin, right? That's the answer. I'm gonna put ladies here. Yeah, that's it. No, now we have the 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 four answers in this part. What else do we have here? It says a. Uh, the, the lesson D per work. How did you celebrate your last birthday? How? How did you celebrate your last birthday, your ultimate birthday? Tell your partner. For example, here it says, no, I celebrated my last birthday with my friends. We ate out at a nice restaurant. No? Well, how do I celebrate? For example, I celebrate it with my family. Yeah, with my family. I, 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 well, I didn't think uh, about a party, but they uh, uh, made a, a surprise, a surprise uh, for me at my birthday. No? Well, maybe uh, you have your, your own party or you had your own party, right? When you celebrate your birthday this year. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see. We have to continue. We have to go to the next part. I'm gonna erase this and let's go to here. Okay, yeah, let's go to this part. This is the listening suite. 16, no? The activity two, listening, suite, uh, suite, suite 16. Activity eight, listen to Amanda as a 16 years old American girl. Yeah? Describe her sweet uh, 16 birthday party. Check two sentences. We have to check. Yeah, we have to check what sentences are true number one two three four five six seven eight we have eight sentences and we have to check when they are true so i'm gonna play this pay attention and let's work on this activity page 123 exercise 2 listening suite 16 part a my birthday is july 14th and I always celebrate my birthday with my friends and family. I'm 16 years old now, and on my last birthday, my parents gave me a sweet 16 party. That's a party a lot of girls have when they turn 16. I made a guest list, and my parents sent the invitations. My mom and I decorated the room and planned a special menu of pizza, ice cream, and, of course, cake. My mom baked a big chocolate cake with Happy Birthday Amanda on it. Everybody sang Happy Birthday to me. We had the party at my house, and 14 of my friends came. Some of their mothers even came. We played music, danced, and sang karaoke. My mom and dad gave me a cool gift. It was a new camera. It was great. I took photos of my friends and then posted them online for my friends to see. 
I'm not going to have a party for my next birthday, my 17th, but I am going to have one for my 18th birthday. Okay, listen one more time, please, about this part. Page 123, exercise 2, listening, suite 16, part A. My birthday is July 14th, and I always celebrate my birthday with my friends and family. I'm 16 years old now, and on my last birthday, my parents gave me a sweet 16 party. That's a party a lot of girls have when they turn 16. I made a guest list, and my parents sent the invitations. My mom and I decorated the room and planned a special menu of pizza, ice cream, and, of course, cake. My mom baked a big chocolate cake with Happy Birthday Amanda on it. Everybody sang Happy Birthday to me. We had the party at my house, and 14 of my friends came. Some of their mothers even came. We played music, danced, and sang karaoke. My mom and dad gave me a cool gift. It was a new camera. It was great. I took photos of my friends and then posted them online for my friends to see. I'm not going to have a party for my next birthday, my 17th but I am going to have one for my 18th birthday. Okay, now tell me, uh, what other numbers are true? What about number two is true, yes or no? Mm -hmm. No, right, because here it says, her parents, no, she made a guest list, right? Now, she sent the invitations. What do you think, yes or no? What about she and her father decorated the room? What do you think? Now, what about the other sentence that says, um, She had pizza, ice cream, and cake. What do you think? Check or no? Check or X? What do you think? Check. Yeah, check, right? What about a uh, 40 of her friends came? Check or no? What about she got a gift from her parents? Number seven, check or no? Check. Very good. And what about number eight? She's going to have a party on her 18th birthday. Check or no? What do you think? No. It's check, right? She said, I'm not going to celebrate 17, but I'm going to have a party for my 18th birthday, right? I think it's check. Yeah? So, well, now let's listen again. Here it says, listen again and correct the false sentences like this, no? You have to correct. Her parents, no, she made a guest, a guest list. Yeah? So, pay attention. Page 123, exercise 2, listening, suite 16, part A. My birthday is July 14th and I always celebrate my birthday with my friends and family. I'm 16 years old now, and on my last birthday, my parents gave me a sweet 16 party. That's a party a lot of girls have when they turn 16. I made a guest list, and my parents sent the invitations. My mom and I decorated the room and planned a special menu of pizza, ice cream, and, of course, cake. My mom baked a big chocolate cake with Happy Birthday Amanda on it. Everybody sang Happy Birthday to me. We had the party at my house, and 14 of my friends came. Some of their mothers even came. We played music, danced, and sang karaoke. My mom and dad gave me a cool gift. 
It was a new camera. It was great. I took photos of my friends and then posted them online for my friends to see. I'm not going to have a party for my next birthday, my 17th, but I am going to have one for my 18th birthday. Okay, now, you know, here the answer is uh, not her parents, no, the answer is she. And what about uh, who's sending the, the, the invitation? What do you think? She? No, right? She didn't send the invitation. She said, my parents. My parents sent the invitations. Yeah, so let's change this for my parents. Now, what about she and her father decorated uh, the room? Hmm? No. Okay, who? Who decorated the room? Yeah. yeah, she and her mom. Great. That's correct. No? She and her mom decorated the room. What about number six? It says uh, she had, uh, oh, sorry, 40 of her friends came to, uh, came to the party. Number six. Is that correct? 40 of her friends. Right, it's not 40. What's the answer? You said 14. Okay, that's different, right? 14, 40, 14 of the friends. Yeah, now let's go to the next part. Here it says activity three, writing. I think you know. It. Oh, yeah, you want to think on a birthday gift or any gift you receive. Answer the question. Just now. Yeah. It says, what is a gift? Okay, for example, I don't know. What should be the gift? Let's think. Imagine, uh, this is about, oh, oh, sorry, remember about your last birthday. You know? What did your parents gave you on your last birthday? Okay, maybe you can say a cell phone, right? A new cell phone. New self. It's coming now for birthdays, no? Uh, who, who is it from? No? You can say, for example, my father, my mom, etc. Right? Why did they uh, get it? Why? No? Because I need it. For virtual classes, no? Okay. Uh, what do you like about it? Uh, maybe that the cell phone has a, a, um, a big camera, no? Uh, has a big space at the memory, no? I don't know. Maybe you can say, uh, what do you like? I like it because it's fast. Maybe it's fast. Yeah? Now, what do you have to do here, says, no? Dear Liz, thanks a lot for the birthday gift. No, I love uh, the sweater. Blue and green are my favorite colors. Thank you for coming to my party. Thanks again, Sanki. Right? Here you can say, no? Uh, dear father or dear dad, no? Thanks a lot for the birthday gift. I love the cell phone, no? Uh, it's very fast, no? And I need it for my virtual classes. Thank you for coming to my party. Thanks, no? And your name, I don't know, maybe you can do that, yeah? Here it says, next part, 
write the thank you note. We're gonna skip this part. We're gonna skip this part, no? Uh, share your thank you notes. Did you or, or did any of you write about similar gifts? Because we're gonna skip this part, okay, students? Let's see, let's go to the next part. Here it says, the speaking, no? Speaking. Uh, how we celebrate, discuss uh, the ways people celebrate birthdays in your culture. Use the questions below and your own ideas. So for example, which birthdays are special in Peru? What do you think? I think maybe here in Peru it's important for the girls, the sweet 15, right? And for the boys, sometimes the 18. Right, but it's not for the girls, I guess. Not for the girls, not the 15 seats. The seat 15. Do people celebrate with family, friends, or both? Here in Peru, people celebrate or people celebrate with both, right? With people, uh, sorry, with friends and family. No, if they do a party. Now, what do people eat and drink? Okay, it's usually to eat soda, no soda, uh, sometimes some soft drinks, and to eat uh, some snacks, right? It's common to eat some snacks and maybe to eat traditional food sometimes, no? What do people do at the party in, in, in Peru? Yeah, they used to dance, come into dance, and sometimes they have a piñata too, right? When, when they are kids, especially for kids, no? Next, do they give gift, uh, gifts? Uh, what kind of gifts? Ah, right, yes, right. They, they gave, uh, or they give uh, gifts, right? It's, it's common, it's common to do that, no? For example, people uh, go to, to, to the birthday party and he carries a gift, no? Or they carry a gift. What kind of gift? Sometimes people give clothes, no? Clothes, some accessories, that's common. How do you usually celebrate birthdays? And this is the pen of you, no? How do you celebrate at home? Do you make parties or you make something uh, smaller that you celebrate with your family? Do you have uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, a lunch or a dinner, no? Well, we are gonna go to the next part. This was about the birthdays. Now let's see. Here we have the wrap up part. What do we have here? Wrap up. This is the, the quick review. We're gonna review about the things that we are learning previously. You know, for example, in the lesson A, what do we have? Uh, what we did we talk about in the lesson number uh, eight? Say three days when you are going to do something special. Can you turn and get what you're going to do? Take turns. You have uh, three minutes. Here it says, no, I'm going to do something special on June 17th. Are you going to graduate? Yes, I am, no? You can say, I'm going to do something special on uh, December 24th. I'm going to do something special on January 2nd, etc. Yeah, uh, we were talking about here some days, no? Lesson B, do you remember? Read the sentences, right? Accepting invitation, D, declining invitation, or E, making an, an excuse, no? For example, I love to, why is I love to? You say I love to when you accept an invitation, right? So we might write here the letter A for accepting the invitation. I'm gonna change the size of this. That's it, no? I'm studying for an exam. What do you think? Declining the invitation or making an excuse? Making an excuse, right? So letter E, excuse. No, you, you are saying no, I'm 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 studying for this I'm, no, that's the excuse. That sounds great. You use for accepting the invitation, right? It sounds great. I'm really sorry, but I can't. Oh yeah, this is declining the invitation, right? 
I'm working late tonight. What's that? That is an excuse. Now let's go to the cinema. Oh, I'm working late tonight. I can't, no? I'm afraid I'm, uh, I can't. This is declining an invitation. Now we have here um, this activity done. Now, what else do we have to, to consider here? Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me activate this option. Yeah, here it says, uh, lesson C, make a list of things you do to plan a party. How many do you know? Okay, you can say, for example, here, make a guest list, no? uh, buy some food, the things that you usually uh, do for, uh, for the part, right? Now, listen to you, find out what are three activities both you and your partner do on your birthday party. You have to meet. No, for example, I eat cake on my birthday. Do you? Yes, I eat cake. Now, what else do you do on your birthday party? I dance uh, on my birthday. Do you? You can say, yes, I do. I sing at my birthday. Do you? Yes or no, I, I don't sing at my birthday. No, I just dance, etc. Now, activity two in the real world. When's your birthday? Go online and find information in English about two important events that happened that day. Then write about them. Where did the event happen? Who participated in the event? Why were the events important? You no, know, for example, my birthday. My birthday is December 17. On this day in 1903, the Wright brothers flew an airplane for 12 seconds. This was important no? because it was the beginning of uh, the planes. No? Now, what do you have to do? You can go online. No? For example, I'm going to open this. I'm going to open this. Comments. The web page, no, you can uh, you can go online, no, you can go to Google, and that's it. And you can you can think when is your birthday? When is your birthday? Que dia? Que fecha? No? for example, in my case, my birthday is on May 14th. Yeah, I'm gonna write here important events. Okay, what do we have here? Aha, uh -huh. uh, important events in history, yeah? In history. Well, let's see. What are these important events in the history? No, for example, uh, 14 May, no, in 1973, US, no, Sky Lab. 19, oh, sorry, that's it. Uh, 1973, Skylab, the first US space station measuring no, 118 feet tall and weighing 77 tons is launched into orbit around Earth. Oh, that's great. I didn't know that that happened at my on my birthday, no? Yeah, but it was in 1973. It was before I was born, no? What else? No, May uh, 14, May uh, 1991, South Africa, Winnie Win Mandela, no? In 1991, I'm gonna change this. Here it says, no, Winnie Mandela, the wife of Nelson Mandela, is living a six year prison. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. No? Sentence for her part in the kidnap of four young suspects of being police informers. One of the kidnapped boys later died of his injuries. Mrs. Mandela is believed to be behind the activities of her boy guards known as the Mandela Football Club, who are involved in violence in the uh, Soweto Township, no? including the notorious necklace killings, which involve putting the attire around a victim's necks and setting fire to it. Oh my God, that, is, that was uh, 
a really bad uh, event, right? Oh, that's really, really bad. Now, let's see what's other events. No, this is May 13, uh, 1804, USA. The Lewis and Clark expedition. Oh, here, no, in the 1804, the Lewis and Clark expedition started from Camp Du Bois near present day. Harvard, Illinois, on this day in 1904, sorry, 1804, they reached the Pacific Ocean. Oh my God. They reached the Pacific Ocean on November 20th, 1805. No? They arrived back to St. Louis, Missouri on September 23rd, 1806. My God, this expedition lasts three years, right? Okay. And you can find more and more information about that on you, what happened on your birthday, right? Well, now students, we have to skip this part. Yeah, let's go to the, uh, well, I think, let me see if I'm gonna sign your homework today. Let's see, let's see, one moment, please. Yeah, uh, the previous class, let me see, let me check. Where were we? Yeah, we're talking or we're working on these units. Mm -hmm. This is for the first grade. This is gonna be for you. Mm -hmm. oh, here. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna stop here, yeah? Uh, Okay, I'm going to explain to you about the video homework. video homework Okay, I'm going to do something to towards my platform. Uh, yeah, this has been the video homework for you, second grade. Okay, that's it. That's it, students. I'm gonna sign you this. Yeah. Uh, this is a homework you say I'm gonna realize. I'm gonna change this. Yeah. Words. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Qué va a consistir? ¿Qué es el homework? El tema que van a realizar ustedes para este nuevo video se llama Future Plans, ¿no? Los planes a futuro. Ya, la fecha límite para su presentación es el 9 de diciembre del 2021. Tienen exactamente 10 días, si no me equivoco. Ya, ok, 10 días para elaborar este video. ¿Qué van a hacer? Van a elaborar un video hablando acerca de 15 planes que tú, bueno, que tienes tú y algunos de tus familiares y o amigos, ¿no? Algunos de tus planes a futuro. Ya, dice. Estos planes podrían darse en los próximos meses, años o al finalizar el colegio, la universidad, etc. ¿no? Ya eso depende de ti en qué, eh, eh, o de cuáles de estos planes que tienes ya vas a eh, hablar. ¿ya? A ver, ¿qué más vamos a mencionar aquí? No, dice aquí, ver la explicación y ejemplos del video de la clase número 37 en tu plataforma virtual. ¿Cuáles son los criterios que vamos a calificar? Vamos eh, a calificar la utilización de la gramática Bitcoin 2. Vas a guiarte de la página 117 del Students Book. ¿Dónde está esa página 117? Está aquí. Ahora te voy a mostrar. Oh, sorry. Ya, aquí está, ¿no? El uso del be going to, ¿no? Sujeto, verbo to be, going to y luego el verbo, ¿no? Recuerden que utilizamos el be, el be going to para hablar de planes, ¿ya? Entonces, ¿qué más te dice? Se va a calificar los materiales visuales que grafiquen lo que estás hablando, que pueden ser las imágenes, diapositivas, etc. Ok, recuerden, es importante el uso de materiales. ¿Qué más? El uso del siguiente formato para iniciar y desarrollar el video. 
de qué manera vas a saludar, good morning, o, o good afternoon, o good evening, teacher, dependiendo del momento en que estás grabando, ¿no? Good morning, etc. No, good morning, good afternoon, teacher and friends. My name is, te presentas, today I will talk about, y vas a mencionar el tema del video, ¿cuál es el tema? Future plans. I'm going to talk about future plans. Y empiezas, ¿no? Eh, Puedes hacer ejemplos hablando en primera persona, como en este caso, ¿no? I'm going to graduate on, in June uh, 8, ¿no? Me voy a graduar el 8 de junio, ¿no? Puedes hablar en primera persona, ¿ya? Eh, luego, ¿puedo hacer teacher, algún ejemplo esto, en negativo? También, ¿no? Como en este caso, I'm not going to start college in July, ¿eh? Es un ejemplo negativo también, es válido, ¿ya? Luego, eh, ¿puedo hablar en tercera persona? ¿Puedo hablar de mi amigo, de mi tío, de mi primo? Claro que sí. No, por eso dice que por eso dice que vas a hablar de ti y de tus amigos y o familiares, ¿ya? Por ejemplo, puedes hablar de tu amigo Walter. ¿no? Walter is going to go a skydiving. Y no te olvides eh, mencionar aquí la fecha, ¿no? De pronto aquí no está mencionado, pero... Eh, que cuando hablamos de planes es porque vamos a quedar cosas que ya están programadas, ¿no? cosas, cosas que ya tienen fechas en esas situaciones, es el going to, el be going to, ¿no? Entonces, puede decir, Walter is going to go skydiving, ¿no? On January, for example, ¿no? En el mes. Listo, ya está, ¿no? He is not going to play basketball, puedo hacer ejemplos también hablando de mi amigo, de mi primo, de mi familiar, que claro que sí. He is not going to play basketball, for example, next week. No, no va a jugar basketball la próxima semana. ¿Okay? Dice, otro ejemplo, puedo hablar en plural, puedo hablar de dos amigos o de dos familiares también, ¿no? For example, Mary and Kenta are going to get married, ¿no? Y no se olviden aquí siempre mencionar la fecha, ¿no? Are going to ma get married, for example, on February 14. ¿No? Perfect. ¿No? Mary and Kenta se van a casar el 14 de febrero. Está, no te olvides mencionar la fecha, ¿ya? They are not going to have a small wedding. Si estás hablando de dentro de este mismo contexto, puedes decirlo. ¿no? Ellos no van a tener una boda pequeña, no significa que va a ser una fiesta grande, un big party, ¿ya? De esa manera, ¿cuánto se digo que tienes que hacer? 15, 15, ¿ok? En total, 15 ejemplos, ¿ya? Luego, al finalizar, vas a decir, thank you very much for your attention. That's all for today. See you next time. Y no se olviden, ya estamos el, con el espíritu navideño. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. ¿no? Y finalmente, goodbye. De esa manera, se despide. ¿Ok? Recuerden, como siempre, todos los videos se tienen que subir al grupo de Facebook de tu salón para su respectiva revisión. ¿ya? Estoy volviendo a dejar el enlace, por si acaso. ¿Ok? Para que no haya excusas que no estoy en el grupo de Facebook. Eso es todo lo que van a tener que hacer. Any questions, students? Todo está claro. Aquí está la fecha límite, como siempre, no se olviden. Yes? So clear, right? Okay, well, students, si todo está claro, I just want to say thank you very much. That's all for today, and see you in the next class. Bye-bye, students. Goodbye.